there. So I'm going to do a live tutorial today. And I know normally I don't do live tutorials. <laughs> okay, so first we're going to start off with Mate Mousse. Um, you really want to make yourself really... This is foundation. You really want to make yourself nice and tan. And make sure it's completely different from your neck here. You really want the colors to be different. You don't want to blend them. You don't want to... You really want to make your face pop. You know, make it pop. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it on the forehead. Oh, you see that? Just rub it in there. You know, go over your eyebrows if you wish because we're just going to color them in the, um, in the end. The tan. Next, we're going to take some bronzer. If I can find my brush. Okay, so I'm just going to take my bronzer and I'm going to just go on the cheekbone. We really want to have that bronzed look, you know what I mean, you know, like, I've been in the tanning booth, like, way too long kind of look, like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna have just that really bronzed look, you know, you really want to make your face pop, see how my face pops, and it doesn't really blend to my neck, my neck is completely colored, that's what you really want, you know, that's what you really want, hold on for one second, okay, anyway, now we're going to start with the eyebrows. Okay, my brows are covered. What you want to do is use a color that doesn't really go. We'll use, um, we'll use red brush here. And we're just going to take the red. We're just going to go right over the brows like this. And you know, the thicker the better, the better of course. Because we're going to make them pop in the end. So it's okay to go thick. It really is. So basically, we're just going to go thick, and don't worry, we're going to make them pop. The thicker, the better. The thicker, the better. So you just make sure you get it like that. Yeah, that looks perfect. Uh, the eyebrows are not even. It's okay. It's all right. Yep, and that's what you want. And we're just going to darken this one up a little bit more. Yep, okay. Now, all of you guys know how to, like... Make your eyes, make your eyebrows pop. So you really want to make them pop. Make a forever cream white. And I'm just going to take this, this paintbrush right here, and dab it right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go under. Yep, like that. And really makes them pop, makes them come out. And I'm going to go over too, because we really want them to pop. Just like that. That is perfect. Yep, that is perfect. Yeah, you want them to pop, so we gotta... Okay, next we're gonna use some eyeshadow. Um, I'm trying to think of what color I should really pick. Uh, maybe I'll do a purple. Okay, we'll do purple. So, I'm gonna use my purple here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab it on my eye. I'm gonna use this purple right here, yeah. Get it all in there, make sure you smush your brush in there. And you just wanna pat. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Oh, yeah. That is pretty. Okay, well, oh, yes. See how the colors really just come together? Like, and you just want to pat and... That's perfect, that's perfect. See how the colors really just come together? Like, it's crazy. Like, look at that. Oh, my God. But, yeah, now you just want to go underneath with purple. You know, you may want to get that raccoon eye effect, whichever is best for you. Um, I'm going to go with the raccoon eye effect, actually, guys. So you're just going to go like this. And, yeah, that looks pretty cool. And you're going to do this side now. And you're just going to do this. And you're just... <laughs> anyway, guys. There you go. See. Okay. There we go. Some, um, we'll use the same brush. Um, we'll use some light blue. And we'll go underneath the raccoon eyes with the light blue there, yeah. We'll give it like a shine. Uh, there you go. Oh, God, I got it on my nose. Oh, my God. I got it on my freaking nose. Okay, anyways, we're just going to do the blue underneath there now. Okay, next I'm going to apply some wicked cat eyes. But they're not going to be normal cat eyes. They're going to be white cat eyes. I know no one's ever really seen a white cat eye before. But what you're going to do is you're going to go like this, and you're just going to pat it. I'm using the cream that I use for my highlight. And you're just going to bring it up. And you're going to bring it up, and it's just going to go. And you just, there's 
your cat eye. And now you're going to do this wicked cat eye for the next eye. On the next eye. And there you go. Make sure you really get in the corner, too. We can't forget about that. Okay, and here's the next cat eye. Oh. I know red lipstick is not for everyone, but it is for me. And, yeah, don't hate, bitches. Don't hate. Okay, first you're going to do is... You're going to bring this from here and go all the way up. The bigger the better lips, because you know what they say. When you have big lips, they're good for... So, you really want to come across with those big, juicy red lips. The red gets them in hot. So that's all you want to just extend your lip more. Just like that. Bring it down now. Bring it down. And then you see how the colors just correspond? Like the red and the red eyebrows and then like the blue and the purple. Like it just all comes together, you guys. You guys definitely have to try this tutorial out. So, the big lips. Come here, baby. Okay, so we're done here with the lips. We're going to give it an outline lip. We're going to use my liquid eyeliner since, you know, it will be guaranteed to stay all night. And we're just going to go over. Oh, yeah, like that. Just like that, and then your lips look so much better. Okay, and you know what? I think that's it, you guys. So, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And pictures are next. Hey, guys. It's your buddy Kat here. So, this is my contest entry for Glamour Doll Eyes April Fool's Makeup. How not to do your makeup. So, yeah. I've been out of the swing of things. Haven't really entered contests. And thought maybe what a great way to get back into the swing of things on how not to do your makeup. Since... I feel like my skills have been lately, so here's my look. Hope you guys like it. Don't hate bitches. Pictures are next. I'm too sexy for my love. Too sexy for my love. Love's going to leave me.